What's up, YouTube family? Uh, doing something a little different, man. I ain't get to record today. They was killing us at work, man. I've been out here jogging, uh, taking a little walk, man. This is this is this is you know my little place of peace, man. I'm not gonna tell you where I'm at. If you know where I'm at, then you know you'll know. But shit, this is this is this is my getaway place, man. I walk out here every single day. This is part of my routine. He said, you know, look, y'all already know. Y'all know I got my clear kombucha water. But, uh, shit, I figured, you know what, fuck it. Um, I see Anthony Spade do this a lot, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just do this video while I'm walking. So, um, I was gonna talk about something different today. But because of certain events that happened, I'm, I'm gonna just go ahead and talk about this. Uh, recently we seen, um, you know, if y'all seen it on, uh, like Facebook, whatever, Instagram. I don't know what whatever type of social media y'all have. I only really use Facebook. Barely ever use Instagram. Uh, but um, it's uh, it was just, I'm sorry, like I just I really got a lot of shit on my mind today, and it's just so I'm 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 trying to hold it together, but but I'm I'm doing this. Uh, cause this this shit needs to be talked about too as well. Um, it was it was this thing at uh Sesame Street theme park, and it was. Uh, the two little, what I seen is two little black girls being like, just like, just mistreated. Is this, um, I don't know what her name is, Rosita, Rosita, whatever. I haven't watched Sesame Street in fucking years, but it's this, it's this one little character and she's walking past the, uh, the little black kids, you know, she's walking past the kids, like a little, uh, like a little, uh, like kids parade. And, you know, she's waving at the other kids, little white kids, you know, she's shaking their hands, all that stuff. Um, and when she gets past the little sisters, she like she literally does her hand like this. I'm hold on, I gotta put my bottle down. She's like, she's like, <sighs> like kind of, you know, like waved her hand and even kind of shook their head, like, ah, no. Nah. And and that that like man, that hurt. Like, you know, the little girl was like looking like that shit hurt me, man. Now, um, you know, reason I'm bringing this up, man, because like I said, I mean, you know, man, we all know racism exists. It's really like no point even entertaining this shit. Um certain things, you know what I'm saying? All thing, all fucked up shit goes viral nowadays. Everybody talks about this and that. So, but the reason I want to talk about this the most, man, cause you know, um, this is, this is where it's time for people to really start really, really, uh, like putting their minds together now. Cause we, we're aware, aware, you know, the first thing, first thing, most of us, uh, especially like most of us real, uh, red pill content creators. First thing we assume is, you know, this is some bull. This is another one of that bullshit set up where they're trying to use the right, where the Democratic Party is trying to use this race shit to try to gain power. Because they, they do this shit, y'all. This Black Lives Matter, the whole thing was a fucking hoax. To be honest, and I'm not just saying this because I heard Young Pharaoh say it, I really believe, honestly, in my heart, that the whole Derek, um, whatever, Derek Chauvin and uh, George Floyd thing was staged. I think those were paid actors who staged a fucking... Uh, what they call a, not a humiliation, but fuck, I, I forget the term, but it's, it's another one of those like conspiracy things that the government does where it's kind of uh, like an Operation Mockingbird, kind of something like that. I can't remember the term, but it's like they literally put on acts. This shit came from ancient Greece. They will literally act out a scenario and make it seem like, like there's something real. And especially now that they got cameras in the news, Ever listen, y'all ever since like back in the 1920s and shit, like when they first started broadcasting news on on like, you know, with cameras and having live footage, they've been doing this shit. So, you know, um, yes, racism does exist, but a lot of this uh black, you know, Black Lives Matter and all this old Rosa Parks, Mar a lot of this shit is just was a bunch of fake shit, man. Listen, y'all, Martin Luther King was not really for black people like that. Neither was Elijah Muhammad. That's why Malcolm X got killed, because he was the, Malcolm X was the real brother. You know what I'm saying? Marcus Garvey, those, man, listen, Malcolm X and Marcus Garvey, bro. Like, I'm, I'm literally getting emotional talking to, like, when I say these names, man, because as a black man, despite how people try to fucking perceive me, I know my life and my, and my, um, my genetic, uh, uh, lineage. But despite how people, uh, you know, despite how people um, try to perceive, you know, I get I get emotional when I say certain those certain names because those are the real revolutionary. All this democratic Black Lives Matter, it's a bunch of bullshit. This is not the real. This has nothing to do with with black or white or none of that. This is this is a way for them to gain power, and them to keep black and white people in America fighting against each other. 
um, most, a lot of my views, like, man, so, man, I've been called Uncle Tom and shit because I've switched a lot of my views to more conservative views. No, I don't, I don't deal with these, uh, racist, conservative white motherfuckers. And a lot of them, a lot of them are like that. There's a lot of conservative people that are racist, but the, 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 the truth is, um, most conservative white people, they believe in traditional family values. They believe in things that are like real, you know, they believe in teaching their kids how to use firearms and shit like that, you know, which is important. Like we don't teach our kids that shit. So this is why I, I switched to more a conservative type of view when it comes to um, certain political things. And I don't I don't buy into all this. Oh, the race. Oh, they they treating black people. And, oh, we got a black uh, uh, Supreme. I don't buy into that shit. So y'all, if y'all want to call me Uncle Tom, call me that. But honestly, y'all are the real Uncle Toms. I'm the I'm. I'm the real black revolutionist because I'm I know that that shit's a fucking trick from another group of white devils. But that ain't the point. Now, my point of coming up with this video is because the shit that I seen on the Sesame Street thing, that was real. Now that, you know, there just be and see, this is where the boy cries wolf concept comes in, because a lot of people, you know, they do they keep doing all this shit where they're like just making up scenarios and just just trying to like, just trying to reach, reach and make it all oh, like, it's race. Everything is race. Oh man. All the white, all the Republicans, they're trying to exterminate all the black people. Oh, we got to vote Democrat so we can live. They, bro, they been, they been doing this like with COVID-19 and just a lot of this bullshit. They have been just like orchestrating this shit to try to stage a big, a big old fucking uh, race panic. But the problem is we see when they do that is that when something, when like when some real racism happens, nobody notices. The reason they don't fucking, the reason they're not gonna believe it because y'all done, done lied about so much shit. So this is the thing. Now the thing with the two little black girls at Sesame Street, to me that was it. That was, it was a lot of shit they were showing was, was a reach. They was reaching just to try to make it look like like it was something racist, but it really wasn't. But the sit, but the thing with the two little black girls, when the when the when the when the little puppet thing, whatever, what, that was real. That was bad. That was bad enough where I feel like, you know, see, like the mom. Sometimes you know, yeah, yeah, yeah you got to teach your kids racism, but at that age, the mom shouldn't have even like like made it a thing. Like don't don't let the little girl know. She should have kept it private, and then she should have went to the um whoever. That, that one particular character, whoever was in that suit, that was a racist white motherfucker. That was somebody racist who did not like black people. Because there are, like I said, man, even though there are, um, you know, there's, there's lots of good white folks, y'all. Every white person is not racist. Every white conservative is not racist. I don't think Kyle Rittenhouse is racist. I just think he's just, you know, his parents raised him to be fucking militant. And when you see vandalism, you know, you protect your country. It just happened to be some black lives matter shit, but it wasn't even no black people. He could, but that's what I'm saying. But you got to understand, man, it's, it's a, this is a different man. We come from different cultures sometimes. So certain things are, 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 you know, perceived as could be racist or they're being racist, but you know, that's just who they are. Some people are just racist by default, man. They don't know no better. They don't know shit about black people. They don't know nothing about us, but where was I going with this? Yeah. Um, the shit with the two little black girls now, uh, you know, you do got certain white people who just hate black people. They're like, you got certain, there's are, there are a certain group of white people that are just like, and especially after that Black Lives Matter bullshit, they really like, man, fuck these niggas. We're gonna, so you do got people like that. I believe that's what that one particular person in the costume did to the two little black girls. But I do not believe that Sesame Street is racist. I don't, I just, I don't believe that. That's bullshit. Like, you're not gonna convince me. In fact, back in the 70s and 60s, Sesame Street was actually created for colored kids in Harlem. That is a what's up, bro. That's a um that is a true story. So it's it's like, you know, it's just you're not gonna convince me. Jim Henson. Jim Henson's one of my fucking idols, man. Matter of fact, y'all, y'all know my manager, Mr. Right Hand Man. He over here walking with me too. He being quiet. Hey, hey bro, hey, ain't, 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 ain't don't be showing me, nigga. The fuck man, come on, bro. Chill man. Nah, nigga, fuck that. All right, bro. He been he been a little bitch right now. Fuck you, man. But anyway, um, yeah, man, Jim Henson, one of my idols, man. He's one of the people, you know, that kind of like really inspired. He's not a puppeteer. He's not a, uh, he's not a, he's really not an actor. And he's not a ventriloquist. He's an artist. 
Jim Henson was a very open-minded artist who had no type of, he was a very hippie-ish, psychedelic type of person. He had no type of real racist um, ideologies. I know for a fact, man, I can read vibes. I can see spirits. I even, you know, I mean, you know, spirit in the sense of the vibe that you bring. Because I don't believe in spirit the same way most people do. I'll talk about that another day. But, yeah, uh, man, what I want to get to, this whole situation, this shit, I'm going to go ahead and turn around now. So I don't want to talk, you know, loud about this in front of too many people because people may not understand where I'm coming from with this shit. But there, there is there, there, there are some white folks that are just like, fuck these niggas. I believe that was a situation where those two little black girls just happened to happen to be a victim to somebody like that. And it was it when it happened to be whoever was in that uh, that little fucking character, Rosita, whatever her name is on Sesame Street. And that particular character was was being racist towards those little girls. I'm I'm convinced. Listen, y'all, like I've I've watched y'all know I do my research good before I even spoke on this. I, I man, listen, y'all, I was up to almost one in the morning, barely got any sleep. Probably why my mind's all scattered right now. But I um I was up and I watched every fucking almost every clip on YouTube about it. I looked up all the all the ones that was trying to debunk it and say, no, that's not no, that no, that wasn't racist and blah blah blah. I looked up all the all the blessed all the Black Lives Matter people and all that bullshit. I looked up all I looked up every video about that Sesame Street thing. And what I seen was like there was a couple, there was a couple of them that didn't seem right, but I it was there was a couple other clips with the same two little black girls. So it's like man, honestly, I feel like there was a racist moment caught, and I feel like the mom may have tried to like stretch it a little further, man, for clout. And I that's not right because now you're damaging the kid. Now the child, like, like a child shouldn't be aware of that. You know what I'm saying? You you should you should protect your child's feelings for certain things. Teach them certain things. You know, like, look, that uh, that particular character was not a real. It was somebody inside of her that was just having a bad day and they were being mean. You know, don't say, oh man, Sesame Street doesn't like black kids. So now now you now 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 you're starting to become the monster. You know what I mean? Now you're the one damaging your kids. I'm just, I just want to say that. That's but that's. That's listen, man. That could be another topic. I could talk about parenting all day, but one of the main things huh, I got cotton mouth, y'all. Mm. Ah, my little hiding spot, real quick. Man, let's see what my little minnow was talking about. My fishies, but um, shit, where was I? Yeah. The two, the two little black girls fell victim to some shit, man. But, and I seen, I seen another clip where it was like, I think it was, um, Telly or I don't know, man. Like, I don't even know what, like, like, like all the characters they got now. They probably got new ones, but it was, it was one little character, like, like with a big belly and it just ran up on the little black kid and knocked it down. But it looks, it, I said, knocked it down. See that? See that could have been perceived race. If I was white, oh boy, they would have they would have really blew that one up. See, this this he uh he refers to the black child as it. He's racist. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Boy, thank God I'm black, huh? Nah, but uh, for real. You know, now see that video clip where where he knocked um the little black girl down. He, he you know he she whatever the uh the character was. He ended up he ended up picking the uh the little kid up. He was like, oh shit, damn, my bad. So it's like. You know what I mean? The fact that they even show that one just shows that they're trying to reach a little bit. So, my this is my so just just to close this video. Um, shit, I'm about to fuck around over here at this uh this little this little lake this little uh, little creek, man. So I'm gonna stay on here while I do that. So if y'all want to tune in, y'all can. But but I'm about to wrap it up about the topic. Um, I want I want to really like really make some really good points right now. Um, my whole take on the thing is yeah, it was some racist shit with the with the that one particular incident. Where the um where the uh where the character walked past the little black girls and kind of like waved them off like hey get out of here, that was that was yeah that was bad. There's no excuse. There's no there is no way to try to find a loophole around. Nah man, I seen it. I know. I I I I peeped the vibe of it. Or nah, I've seen it a billion fucking times last night and this morning while I was at work. I and I yeah that one was bad. But all the other clips was reaching. So that's what I'm saying. So. To all you racist white people, just know now when you do some racist shit, you open the door for for shit. You know what I mean? Like, hey, nigga, like why? And honestly, I feel like, you know, like, why? Why should we show mercy if that's the case? So 
to all you to all the white people that say they're not racist, you gotta check your peoples, man. Whoever, whoever was whoever that was, the Sesame Street people, they need to identify that particular person. They need to blow that person up and they need to let it known that it was this one particular individual that was that was on some racist shit. And not only being racist, you treating a fucking child a certain way. Man, listen, I don't give a fuck. Listen, man, I wouldn't even treat like my worst enemy's child a, a, a bad way because I don't I don't treat children bad because children are innocent, man. So to, so, man, to be racist is one thing, but to hate little black children that's that's mm, I, motherfucker I, mm, I will motherfucker I don't play about I don't play about our black kids bro it's one thing I don't play I don't play about my kids I don't play about nobody's kids I damn so just I damn so don't play about black children in general including my own because my children are black just like me despite my light complexion in the European blood that I had do have any fuck out of here so I was very upset about that but that doesn't mean we need to be it. I was sick. I was nasty. I seen that. But that doesn't mean that we need to be fucking, man. Come on, y'all. Like, this shit was just ridiculous, man. You know? It's like they blew it up kind of too much. But, but man, you know, we need, to, we need to address these type of situations. We do. So, I don't, I don't know how this one's going to play out, y'all. I don't... I just, I just, my thing on it, man, they need to identify that one particular individual and they need to let it know it had nothing to do with Sesame Street. So here, here's my take. Here's my whole closing on it, y'all. My bad. I'm, let me wrap it up. Here's my whole thing. No, I don't think Sesame Street's racist. I don't. They, man, Sesame Street's never had a racist. In fact, they actually, they, they lean towards a lot of uh, like liberal type of thinking in there. You know, a lot of racist white people don't fuck with Sesame Street because of that. So they... You know, at first, when I first seen it, I said, I, I think it's some bullshit. But then I watched enough. Yeah, that, that incident with the two black girls was bad. But the thing is, man, yeah, they need to just, like, fucking Sesame Street needs to just let, let them know that, look, it was this particular individual and that was it. And that's what I'm that's what I'm going to say to anybody, to all my black people. That's what I'm going to say, man. That's, that's what it was. That's the person that needs to be held accountable. And I would like to know who was fucking wearing that costume. That's the thing. Like, nobody's even trying to find out who was who. That's why I'm thinking a lot. All this shit little be, really be staged. But y'all, damn it, man, who I feel bad for is those two little black girls. Because they, they didn't do shit, man. They honestly did not do shit to deserve none of that. So if it was a setup staged by the parents, shame on the fucking parents and whoever else was involved in that. But and if it was just if it was if it was like legit, just a, a racist white person being racist, then shame on that racist white person as well. It's, it's just that's what it is, man. So, you know, I feel bad, man, for these kids. I feel bad for those for those two little girls, man. I hope they get some closure. I hope one day they can grow up and see this video and get some type of comfort for what happened. And just know that, you know, there's righteous people out here and we are on your side. You know, there's people who don't we don't have an agenda. I don't have an agenda. I mean, I do, but it's not a fucking political affiliated agenda, man. My thing is just trying to make the world better, trying to just create righteousness and just just have peace, you know what I mean, and harmony. And it doesn't, you know what I'm saying, we don't have to hold hands and sing kumbaya, I know. We don't have to be out here wilding out like this, y'all. That whole Sesame Street thing was just, uh. So, yeah, man, I just I just had to talk about it, y'all, because, you know, it's, fuck the world, man, all this racist shit. It's like, man, they bought this racist shit right back. But, yeah, but see, but that that racist white person in that costume did that. You started it. You, you, you know what I'm saying? Thank you very much. You, thank you. Thanks a lot. You put the fucking, you, you threw the log. The fire was going out, but you just had to throw a log on it. Whoosh. Now that motherfucker, you know, so. Yeah, that's what happened. That's what I see happen, man. So, yeah, there was some race. It was, that was that one particular racist thing kind of blew it up for everything, but. You know, everything else seemed seemed pretty legit. I seen uh my nigga Oscar the Grouch, he dapped up a little black kid. Um Grover, you know, gave like a little boy a little a little uh a little uh, like cheek pinch, like hey little you know what I mean? It's kind of fruity to me if you ask me, but you know, hey, you know, <laughs> all this all this little kids show, man. But Jim Henson and Sesame Street, man, was one of the main ones that that's that's always been legit, man. Like fuck Disney, fuck Walt Disney. I will piss on Walt Disney's grave. Fuck Disney. Disney is and yeah, and a lot of you people are fucking homophobic because y'all only y'all only saying fuck Disney now that you feel like they pushing a gay agenda, which they are. But they've been grooming kids, but they've been putting sexual messages, even not even just homo homosexual shit. They was putting just sex shit like in all type of movies, like The Little Mermaid, all this pedophile shit. Bro, Disney pushes a pedophile agenda. I've been I've been done said this on many videos. I've been saying it. I'm gonna keep saying it to the day I die. 
Disney pushes a pedophile agenda. Now, Jim Henson, who was the who was the creator of the Muppets and, you know, um, and Kermit the Frog, shit like that. They um and um yeah, uh who was it? Yeah, Sesame Street and all that. He's the one that created all that. He was the only legit. Well, you can watch any of his shit and you will see that he was the most legit. He never had a pedophile agenda, never had any type of political agenda. His shit was just straight legit. It was comedy. It was just neutral entertainment, man. And sometimes it had a lot of educational message. Yeah, Death's Man, Sesame Street was meant for colored kids to learn because all they had was TV. We had f- fucked up ass school systems in Harlem. But boy, we all had a big box TV in our living room. So Jim Henson was, man, he, 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 you know, he was one of the real ones, man. He took a lot of acid and mushrooms. That's, that's a fact. I know that. I studied his life for, for a couple years. But yeah, man, shit, I'm just out here at the creek, y'all. Showing y'all this shit. Look, shit, y'all want to see me catch a crawdad? I'm about to catch a crawdad right quick for her. Then we're going to, then I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. This water's cold. I was out here yesterday. I come out here all the time. Look, you, I don't know if y'all can see, like, see these big ass minnows. Look how big these minnows are, y'all. Motherfuckers is huge. Yeah, those are minnows, nigga. They look like fucking bluegills, don't they? I caught one. I got I got a couple of them at the house in the fish tank. Maybe I'll show y'all, man. I might I might upload a video in the house. Who knows? This boy be high. Oh, here go one right here. Look at this crawdad. He underneath this rock. I'm about to lift this rock up slowly. Hope his ass don't fly away. Try to catch his ass. Ah. Ah, look at him. I'm off a fast thing. I'm about to get his ass. Here we go. Where you at, nigga? Boom! Got ah shit. That motherfucker got away. I'm about to pick his ass up one good time before we close out of here. Nah, I ain't fuck. I ain't going over there. All right, y'all. Fuck it. Crawl that got away. We'll get him next time. Um. Yeah, y'all. Uh, all this racist shit. Look, black people, white people, conservative, whatever, man. Let's all, let's all just, can't we all just get along <laughs> in the words of Rodney King? Um, shit, I will see y'all tomorrow. Peace.